Hello friends and welcome to this new session. This is the first video of 2023. So happy new years to all of my viewers. So in this particular session, we are going to see about the uh, Kubernetes ambassador uh, design pattern and as well as the sidecar uh, pattern. And both of them are very important as far as the CK exam perspective. So we are going to look into the details about it and which type of questions they ask in for the CK exam related with the ambassador and the sidecar design pattern. So we are going to see in more details. So uh, now, what is the agenda of uh, uh, this particular sessions? We are going to discuss about the ambassador design pattern and the sidecar design pattern. We are going also to see what is the use cases and where we are going to implement it and which of them are most important and what is the possibility of asking the questions uh, for, for the side, sidecar pattern or ambassador, card, ambassador design pattern. So, uh, if you compare both of them, ambassador and the sidecar pattern so ambassador uh, what is the functionality we we are using for the ambassador sidecar and is outside the kubernetes cluster okay so we are going to see uh, in more details and which type of questions they will ask regarding the ck exam for the both both the subject like uh, ambassador and the sidecar we are going to look into the details so ambassador design patterns it is used in designing a multi container pod obviously because in the in the ambassador we have the main uh, main container you can say and the ambassador which are supporting at the time of creating the pod following the architectural principles so you have to define all these things uh, before creating the pod so you have to understand the principles okay why you are going to use the ambassador ambassador pattern with the main container so first container will be the main container okay when we say the two containers multi container pod one is the ambassador and one is the main container so it doesn't mean that we have to put the main container at the beginning okay and then the ambassador can container at it both run in the parallel it's not like the init container the init in the case of init container the init container will run first okay and in case of any uh, problem in the with the init container the main container will never get up okay so in that case you will find that the pod is not in the running uh, stage sometimes the main container might have the access uh, to the external services communication communicating with them so what this this is the this line says about the ambassador card ambassador design pattern why we are going to use it because we have to access some external services which is not in the kubernetes cluster like you are going to access some external api which is not the part of the kubernetes cluster at the time of communications you are using a helper container that is known as the ambassador container and the main container will always know about there is some helper container that is helping and interacting with the external services like api okay so this in this example we have the main application okay uh, which is interacting with the sql database living outside of our pod okay so you need to reach to the database to retrieve the data from it in that case you place a ambassador pattern which will interact with the sql database and which will work as a proxy okay so main container will always interact with the ambassador and ambassador will interact with the rds instance which is outside the kubernetes cluster okay so main container always know that there is some helper container uh, like ambassador container but in the sidecar the main container will don't know anything about the sidecar container sidecar container runs separately so these are the differences between the ambassador ambassador and the helper uh, sorry the main container and the ambassador know the main container know about the ambassador so there is a tightly coupled okay so you can see that both are dependent both are uh, using uh, each uh, each info each other informations but in the case of sidecar the main container uh, will not get disturbed in case of the sidecar container will not respond properly okay but in case of uh, ambassador which is um, as for example we are using the um, proxy which uh, connecting with the rds instance of the sql so if 
the proxy is not working the main container which is interacting with the proxies will not able to get that data so you can say this is a tightly coupled and that that one is the usually coupled so ambassador container is fine but only if the external api is not leaving the same kubernetes cluster this is very important so when you are when you are accessing some services which is inside the kubernetes cluster then you can use the services okay but some of the services which you want to uh, access for the external api in that case the ambassador uh, design pattern is very useful so ambassador uh, proxy is not limited to the uh, sql proxy so this is just for example but uh, you can use the ambassador uh, design pattern for different different use cases uh, we are uh, discussing the sql proxy because this is very easily understandable that uh, how can the we can uh, implement the ambassador design pattern uh, in our uh, uh, definition file okay both are the plain uh, so in this case you can say that this is the pod okay and um, just to be name it as an ngx and uh, nginx with uh, ambassador okay and this is the uh, this is the you can say the ambassador and this is the main container so uh, for example i take in the NG, nginx latest but this is your docker images which have the interaction with the uh, this particular uh, ambassador design pattern so this is the image provided by the developer which have the connectivity with the, uh, with the mysql uh, which is using as a uh, used as a uh, sql proxy Okay, so you understand uh, these all things like in the uh, in the environment variable we are using the rds instance of the mysql uh, which is running a, uh, at the amazon it which is the external entity uh, so we are we are using uh, it as a proxy sql proxy uh, and uh, the developer will provide the image which have the connectivity with this particular proxy okay now uh, the sidecar so i already uh, give you a brief uh, some brief about the sidecar so this is a loosely coupled so this is also a multi container but the main container don't get affected if something happened with the sidecar because it's always used for some types of use cases like for um, uh, logging okay uh, transferring the log, log informations to the external sources okay so the the main container okay the main container uh, which is also get deployed as a parallel so in in, in it container it's a sequential uh, something sequential and in the for the sidecar or ambassador it's parallel so at a time the main container will also get created and the sidecar or the ambassador container also get created the sidecar design pattern is an extremely useful one so uh, if you get the questions then that will be related with the sidecar in most of the cases it is good for uh, when you want to extend the feature of the main container like the main container is generating the log but now you want some external features that logs to needs to be transferred to some other locations in that case you will place a sidecar which is using the same volume as a main container and it will it will transfer the logs information to the some external so main container will not know about there is some sidecar so there is a loosely coupled you can say think of a sidecar container as the extension or a helper for your main container so this is something extension which enhance the future of the main container okay its main purpose is to extend the main container to bring it to the new feature but without changing anything about it so main container don't know anything and we are not going to change we are not changing anything in for the main container but in the case of ambassador it's a tightly coupled because main container is using the sql proxies to access the database which is in, at the external end so unlike the main uh, ambassador design pattern the main container may not even be aware of the presence of, of a sidecar so i already mentioned this thing several times okay so sidecar uh, just like the ambassador design pattern the de the sidecar design patterns makes use of at least two containers so it, it's a obvious things the multi container pod so main container uh, but um, you can place main container uh, 
uh, at the beginning also or after the side card so it doesn't matter both run in the uh, parallelly so main container the one that is running the applications definitely side card the one that is bringing something additional to the first one this type of pattern is especially useful when you want to run monitoring okay so this is something enhanced. You are enhancing the main container and the log forwarding agent, like you are for forwarding that log uh, to some uh, uh, some third party agent for visual uh, representations. Uh, th three things to understand when you want to build a sidecar uh, that is going to forward your log to another locations. You must locate the directory. So you are using the same volume. Okay. So I'm going to give you the example of this. Uh, so you have a better understanding. Uh, th the main container container uh, volume that you are using you are using the same uh, volume th for the sidecar uh, sidecar as well okay you must create the volume to make the directory accessible to log forwarding sidecar as i already mentioned you must launch the sidecar container with a proper configuration definitely in the scheme of uh, specification file you have to mention all these things then they, they will um, uh, do the proper work what desired work what you want to perform okay so for the example you can see that this is an example of the yaml configuration file of the sidecar pattern it defines a main applications container which writes the current date to log a file for every five seconds okay the sidecar container is nginx serving that log file okay so we are using the nginx for the sidecar so this is the main container this is the nginx uh, which is a sidecar container this is the main container Okay, so uh, in practice, your sidecar is likely to be a log collections container that upload to the external uh, storage. So uh, you can um, apply this by kubectl apply uh, using the file uh, sidecar.yaml file. Okay, once the pod is running, you can uh, uh, go into that particular uh, pod that you created with the pod with the sidecar uh, uh, with with with, with uh, um, uh, interactive bash command, uh, and then you install the curl, and then you can. Uh, you can use the uh, app.txt by using the local host uh, colon at port to view the log informations uh, in in the in the browser okay so um, you can see that we created uh, we created a, uh, with the pod with a sidecar here and we created the volume and create a volume called shared logs that the app and sidecar shares so we have we are using the same volume uh, and this is obvious because we are we are uh, logging uh, transferring the same logs whatever the written by the main applications so in the sidecar pattern there is a main applications uh, container uh, and a sidecar uh, container so there is two uh, uh, container you can say main and the sidecar okay in the main uh, it's a simple applications write the current date to the uh, log file every five seconds for this we are using the alpine alpine is a simple linux os images and it's uh, writing uh, the log informations uh, every five seconds we mounted the pods shared log into the app the main container uh, the app writes the log at that particular places so mount volume we attach it here okay for the sidecar uh, the simple sidecar display logs files using the nginx in reality this sidecar would be a custom image so we are we are just for demonstrations for we we will use the custom images for the sidecar which is our which will do our desired expectations work okay uh, that uploads the log to the third party or storage services for that we are using the nginx the version uh, the tag we are using 1.7.9 just for the demonstrations and the container port is 80. Uh, it's mount the pod shared log file into the sidecar container in this case nginx will serve the files in this directly so you can see that the, we are using the uh, the same volume uh, informations here so this is the beauty of the sidecar which enhance the features of the main container uh, so uh, you will definitely get uh, questions uh, related with the sidecar uh, the ambassador pattern uh, they will uh, uh, that is not so important 
it as per the CK exam prospecting. But you should have the information so, and, and you also know what is the difference between the ambassador and what is the sidecar pattern and when we, can, we are going to use it. Who is that? Uh, who have the tightly coupled bonding and the loosely coupled bonding? Uh, so all this information. Hope you like this this video. Uh, so give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, uh, please do subscribe it. This will always motivate me. And happy new year again to all my viewers. Thanks for watching this video.